Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about NPTEL problem solving through programming in C week 4 assignment 4. The due date for week 4 assignment 4 is 24-8-2022. The first bit is the loop which is executed at least once is answer is option B do while loop. Do while loop can be called an exit controlled loop because in the do while loop the condition can be checked at the end of the loop. So whenever the condition is checked at the end of the loop Without checking the condition, the control goes into the body of the loop. The body of the loop can be executed first time. After that, condition can be checked at the end. So that we can say that the loop which is executed at least once is do by loop. Next, second bit. In the C programming language, Negative numbers when used in if else conditional checking are treated as. In the previous assignment also, if any negative number can be appeared in the condition, that can be treated as true. So the same bit can be asked in this assignment also. So in the condition of the if statement, if any negative number can be appeared, that can be treated as positive, that can be treated as true. So, answer is option A, true. Next, third bit, choose the current correct statement to use if else statement in C language. So, answer is option C, else or else if is optional with the if statement. So, whenever we are using only if statement, else statement is optional, else if statement is also optional. Only if statement also we are using. Okay. That means whenever if statement is used, else statement is optional and else if statement is also optional so that the answer is C option C next fourth bit what is the output of the following C code int main function in that main function int a equal to 1 if a minus minus printf true if plus plus a printf false. So see this one variable a can be initialized with 1. If a minus minus this is a post decrement in the case of post decrement first a value can be assigned. Here a value is 1 so that if of 1 if of 1 means that is condition is true. If the condition is true, the statement within the if block can be executed that is true. Okay. Once the value 1 can be assigned after that, after that a value can be decremented. A value can be decremented by 1 that is 0. Okay. Now if plus plus a a value already 0, this is a pre-increment. First, we are incrementing the A value. Now, A value becomes 1. A value becomes 1. So, 1 means it is true. Therefore, the statement within the if block can be executed. That is false. So, here option C, both true and false are printed. Okay, here a minus minus, this is a post increment. In the case of post increment, 
first a value can be used what is a value a value is 1 so that 1 can be used here after 1 can be used after that a value can be decremented so here before using a value here a minus minus is nothing but a value can be used 1 if of 1 that means true the statement within the if block can be executed that is true after executing the statement within the if block then a value can be decremented a value previously it is 1 it can be decremented by 1 that is 0 now a value 0 now go to this statement if plus plus a this is a pre increment first a value can be incremented by 1 so previously it is 0 that can be incremented by 1 now it is 1 if of 1 that is true if this condition is true the statement within this if block is executed that is false so both true and false are printed next fifth bit in the following example tell which statement is correct if here the logical and can be used between these two expressions this is one expression and this is one expression so condition one equal to equal to one that means here one value can be assigned to the condition one so one is nothing but true true value can be assigned to the condition one so therefore this is true if it is true now this one can be assigned to the condition 2. So, condition 2 is also true. So, that is a true and a true. It is nothing but a true. So, that it prints Swayam. So, here answer is option C. That means condition 1 will be evaluated first. First, condition 1 will be evaluated first after that condition 2 will be evaluated if condition 1 is true okay next one which one of the following is the correct syntax for ternary operator in c language first in the ternary operator there are uh, first three expressions are there first one is condition after that question mark after that expression 1 that is nothing but true part after that colon next one is expression 2 that is false part so first condition after that question mark then expression 1 colon expression 2 so answer is option a first condition after that question mark after that expression 1 after that colon after that expression 2 after that semicolon but semicolon is not given in any option so that answer is option a next seventh bit the purpose of the following program fragment is so b is equal to s plus b s is equal to b minus s b is equal to b minus s where s and b are two integers so these three statements tells about without using temporary variable we have to exchange the values of s and b okay so the answer is exchange or are swapping the contents of s and b next eighth bit what will be the output int main function within the main function the statements are int x is equal to 0 x is equal to print of 3 within the double quotes so here this statement print of 3 can printed the value 3 okay so now value 3 is printed so answer is option b or c option b or c because first 3 is there in option b and c okay after printing 3 that 3 can be assigned in the form of string to the variable x
okay so that can be treated the value 1 so print of percentage dx is nothing but 1 so answer is 3 1 next one what will be the output and and is the logical and operation so int main function within the braces int i equal to 0 comma j equal to 1 print f slash and percentage d i plus plus and logical and plus plus j okay here i value is initially 0 this is post increment in the case of post increment first we have to use i value i value initially that is 0 so first i am considering in this part i value is 0 next logical and plus plus j initially j value 1 this is the pre increment so 1 is incremented so that is a 2 okay so here this is a 0 logical and and this is also 2 0 logical and 2 0 logical and 2 is nothing but 2 can be treated as a true and uh, here 0 can be treated as false so false logical and true is nothing but false so therefore it prints the value 0 so option a or d is correct so now because option a c d okay these three are correct at that time okay next we can go for this one print f percentage d percentage d i comma j so here already i value is 0 after initializing i value here then i value is incremented by 1 okay so now i value is 1 and j value can be taken as 1 so answer is option d 0 1 1 next one what will be the values of a b and c after executing the following int a equal to 5 b equal to 7 c equal to triple 1 so c divided by equal to plus plus a into b minus minus first a value is 5 plus plus a plus plus a is nothing but pre increment so pre increment means 5 can be incremented by 1 that is a 6 so now a value becomes 6 next one b b equal to 7 so b minus minus b minus minus is nothing but it is a post decrement post decrement now first b value can be assigned here so this is one expression that expression can be evaluated from uh, here right to left when we are using right to left so the answer is option c 662 okay so now once again i am telling first bit option b second bit option a third bit option c fourth bit option c fifth bit option c and sixth bit option a seventh bit option c eighth bit option c ninth bit option d and 10th bit option C. Now submit your answers. So thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you really like this video, click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, 
please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts please subscribe my youtube channel devela srinivas rao for future updates thank you thank you one and all for watching this video